Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you well. We are going to go into um, our programming. I go into computer science, coding fundamentals uh, for upper primary. We're going to go into the Grey Wolves. This is the last one before we go into um, the second part, which is custom made by me. Um, so got the grey wolves it's american spelling grey uh, but i'm going to just pause the video so you don't have to watch this loading and i'll see you once it's open and we see dr barwin all right so here's dr barwin uh, i'm going to go and see what he says wolves are strong and fast hunters that can be found all across the globe they're part of the canine family which makes them the cousin of dogs their biggest threat is clashing with humans. Sometimes while hunting for food, wolves will come across cattle and other livestock. Farmers go through great measures to keep them away. Go down and see if you could help the farmer keep the wolves away using peaceful means. I'll stay up here and monitor the radio in case you need me. I'm ready. Right, let's go and see what we've got here. Ooh, chickens. Uh, these walls behind the fence seem to want to make lunch of these chickens. Let's build this iron fence a little higher to make them uh, a little less appetizing. Okay, let's go and see the wolves. Where are the wolves? I can't see them. Ah. Okay, they must be around somewhere. So I've got to make the chickens uh, press C to code or touch the agent icon. I press C to code. Let's go and see what he says. Uh, the agent needs to place two la oh, two layers of nine. This is nested loops again, isn't it? So two layers of nine blocks in iron bars. There are four sides that need to have iron bars. Don't forget to use the agent move up to build the second layer. Okay, let's talk this one through before we go any further. We need to make it two layers. So at the moment it's one layer. So therefore we need three layers at the end. So it's a square. But it's the same as the it's the same as it's the same as the panda so let's have a good think about this talk it through so same as before panda habitat had to make a square so that was this length turn right multiplied by four so then we had a nested loop of one side multiplied by four so four lots of one side so place 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 this time it's it's uh, layers of nine blocks of iron bars. So we've got to fill it with nine bars, uh, with iron bars. And then we need to, the two layers of nine, the four nines are 36, uh, 36, 72. We're going to run out of iron bars as well. If you think about it, we're going to need more than the agent has, uh, can fill in one slot. So we are going to have to get the other iron bars from slot number two. So move around four lots. At the end, move up. In fact, the agent can move up in the beginning. Depends where the agent is, doesn't it? Let's see where the agent's lying. Where is the agent? So the agent is already here, ready to place down. Is it in the right spot? Yes, it is. So it's going to move here. It's going to place down. Four lots of nine, turn right. Get to here, move up. Either refill with another 36, uh, another 36, because two lots of nine is 18, two lots of 18 is 36. So it's 36 for one layer, 36 for another layer. Um, So I just put my pseudocode boards in. Uh, so I want uh, two lots of this. So this is nine, 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 nine. This one here, nine, 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 nine. Same as before, nested loops. Uh, so it's going to be one lot of four because we're going to need that four lots for each side. And then we're going to need a right turn at the end because it's going to have to turn like that. So each one is going to need, so this one's going to be the same. The only difference is that when it gets to the end of this nine in here, 
uh, the nine in there, it's going to have to sort of jump up, isn't it? So at the end, it's going to have to fill that and then move up. That's behind me. You can't read. You can't read that. Move up. And at the same time, it's going to have to uh, refill uh, the inventory, isn't it? With another set. So it fills it up, inventory, move up. So it's going to have to move up. So code one plus code two. And then in between here, it's going to have to move up. So that's it completely. Piece of code one, layer one, move up, refill. Code again, use the same code and put it on top for the second, for the second row. So it has it all together. Okay. So here we are with, uh, Block number one, remember for my pseudocode, you can rewind back. Uh, I've got 36 in here uh, with the iron bars in slot one. Repeat four times, repeat nine times is the nest. Agent placed down, agent move forward. So that's made the square turn right. Then at the end of that, the agent is going to have to uh, move up, isn't it? At the end of it, and then move up by one. And then it's going to need to be repeated. So you can duplicate th that again. And it should, based on pseudocode, whether that works or not, because I've got the pseudocode there and I've repeated it. Um, again, it's up to you. Uh, you need to try this out yourselves. I'm not sure it's going to work. I've not tested it. So this is just based on my pseudocode. Um, as always, good luck.